Many companies continue to struggle with hiring and retaining millennials, but it may be because they're looking for talent in all the wrong places. Joining us to discuss the problems with entry-level hiring is WSJ reporter Kelsey Gee. Hi, Kelsey. Great to see you. Great to see you. So you have insight into this entry-level situation through a new survey that came out from the Rockefeller Center, correct? Mm -hmm. Tell us what it found. So it was interesting. It was a survey of employers, but also of young people with and without a college degree. Um, and it found that there's kind of a mismatch between what employers think that they need in order to screen out uh, applicants for jobs and what uh, young people say that they actually need in order to do their jobs. Um, and something like 70% of all of these employers are, are screening for a college degree. And yet 40% of the companies say they believe that the high turnover rate is because their new hires are feeling unsatisfied satisfied with their jobs, correct? Right. I mean, young people who were surveyed said that the job that they were doing right out of school was not using the skills that they right. learned in college. Right. So let's look at let's look at what some entry level jobs are requiring because it now seems like today's the bachelor's degree is yesterday's high school diploma and you can see from this graphic on the screen that light orange line showing requirements in 2011 for bachelor's degrees and the darker line showing the requirements in 2000 2016. So has the bachelor's degree become the barrier for entry to almost every job? Yeah, so something like 35% of all entry-level jobs um, that posted their applications online, um, we, we talked to a really interesting data um, firm that scrubs all of this uh, information, said that they required or requested a bachelor's degree. And that's kind of odd when you think about the fact that only one in three Americans have even finished a bachelor's degree by 34. Right, and so what are some of the specific jobs that now require a bachelor's degree that may not have before. So we've seen big jumps in like call center operators in terms of like requirements for a bachelor's <laughs> That's degree crazy. or like clerks or accountants, um, but, but not the accountants that would be doing highly technical things, right? Um, nurses, things like that. And do employers say they look for a bachelor's degree because it tells them something about soft skills the the worker might have? Yeah, so soft skills are really used as the proxy, uh, or college degrees are used as a proxy for soft skills, so like critical thinking skills or resilience, the fact that someone has, you know, sought college out and completed it, you know, seems to say something meaningful to employers. Um, but a lot of uh, the people that we talked to for this story said that there are other ways to get at those same skills. Right. Now, we know that the U.S. unemployment rate is now hovering at a near historic low of a about 5%. But when you dig deep into those numbers and look at the sort of the younger age group, it's a slightly different picture. Is the disconnect between these requirements and the reality part of the problem here? Um, it seems to be. Some economists say that uh, there's an up credentialing going on um, in a whole bunch of uh, workforces at a whole bunch of companies that really don't need to be screening uh, employees for or potential employees for degrees or for, you know, six, seven years of experience for jobs that they could actually learn how to do once they're on in. the job. Mm -hmm. Right now, did you notice a regional difference to this dynamic? Yes, it was really odd because um, if you're a company that's located in a big city or in a college town where there there's a larger number of college graduates, even if your job that you're offering as the, you know, on-ramp for young people doesn't require actually a college degree, you're more likely to request it anyways. So if you don't have that degree, get out of the big city, right? Mm -hmm. All right, Kelsey G., thank you so much for thank that. You.